all night, sneak out of the crib, ride around in my car, turn up as loud as I can pretend. All those songs were my songs. <laughs> like, what a glorious feeling to have said that out loud. Like, I have to do that. I was listening to Did I Ever Wake Up? So it wasn't even his music, it was his audiobook. And that just changed my whole life. I love my life, just so you know, and I love you so fucking much. <laughs> because of you, everything I'm gonna do in my life is gonna make a difference. Oh, some people go to church. Some people just do what I just did. <laughs> so my name is Mod Sun, and it stands for Movement on Dreams, Stand Under None. Yeah. What is your name? It starts with an L. Lucky. Are you serious? No, are you serious? His positivity and all that definitely rubs off on people. It gets people to do more with themselves. Why are you special? Give me a Because I'm happy as fuck. Oh my god, bro! Hashtag you happy as fuck. Pull it out. DJ yeah. You had to do it. I'm my son. I have a song called Happy as Fuck. Look at my stomach. What does that say? Happy to be here. He writes about positivity and being kind to others and peace and smoking pot and other things. But you know. <laughs> when I ever wake up inspired, like nothing else in my entire like the good vibes to play in the car and make everybody in your fucking car smile and be like, yeah, I'm so fucking happy, dude. I fucking love you, Monson. Thank you. We talk music, you talk directing, you talk poetry and writing, you talk fashion. Producing, engineering, I mean, all of that, and the painting. And talk about that as well. We do this shit every night. Run it up, run it up, I want more. People try and tell you you gotta be good at one thing. Fuck that. Fuck that. It's like, you're a painter. I don't want to paint. You're a painter! <laughs> Grab your fucking brush! I don't want to paint. Well, then you're nothing now. Nah, I'm on a budget. I could lose my voice, and I got fucking 50 other things I can do. Make something of yourself. I was proudly raised by two women. Did y'all spend my fucking love you? Mom, son, you're a fucking angel, baby. I wouldn't be me without you. Right? Growing up, we went through a really hard childhood in life. My dad took everything except the kids. She worked for my dad and he fired her. So the house got foreclosed on and we went to being poor as fuck. Probably worked 50, 60 hours. We were doing homework, doing all the housework, and it was a struggle. And now I turned like 13, blink 182 that happened. I saw Travis Barker. This might be the coolest looking motherfucker I've ever seen. He plays drums, I got drums in my basement. Fuck it, let's get it. You are tuned in to something very, very momentous in my life. I have Travis Barker playing drums right now in that house. He was like, yeah, after I graduate, I'm just gonna sign to a label and tour. I'm like, yeah, okay, cool, good luck. A week after his graduation party, signed to Victory Records. Oh, mama say I'll make it. She said, boy, you gonna be the greatest. I'll never forget the day I was sitting with four little eye Chipotle. I was like, I'm sick of playing in a band that's talking about all the sad shit. I'm a happy person. I want to represent what I really am because it doesn't feel right to put everything you have into something that doesn't represent you. It just does not feel right. And I remember sitting and looking at them and saying, hey guys, can we try something different? And I said, what? And they said, can we write this next song? Go, it's time to celebrate. Do, 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 do. I had a whole song right there. Probably would have been present. You know what they did? Fucking laughed at me. Literally. Turned away. That's us hard. It would have been amazing. Make, yeah, we should make you that. You know what I did in my head right there? I said, I'm done. Checked out. Because mm -hmm. I'm going to make that song. Yeah. And, and, and you want to scream. I don't want to scream. So I'm going to do it better. And I'm going to pop out. I got a call from Tyson, and they're like, yo, we're doing a farewell tour, so we want you to play drums for us. I said, man, I'm my son, so the only way to get my son to play drums is if you have my son open the show. They're like, Ma, this is a fucking, like, hardcore screamo thing, and you wanna rap on it? It's like, yup, throw me into the fucking walls, man. Throw me the walls. First tour ever, my son playing in front of 59 kids every night getting booed off stage. <laughs> That 
that's an amazing message. Yes. Because that message tells the youth out there to stand by what they believe in. Still that H I double P Y. You could probably see why. Of the 70, 70, so the divine. Would have put the letters together, the stars realign, then I shoot them down. With a peace sign. There's been a couple times when I've been a little worried. Mod talks about him being a wolf and like the Howl at the Moon thing. I've looked over and him and fool literally looks like a fucking wolf. I'm like, dude, I don't know what he's about to do. <laughs> I have to apologize this whole fucking menu. I think you're offended about how shitty you are. That's what he just said. How you thought you were shitty tonight. No, it's I'm not. I'm the interscope lady. I'm saying, I Looks at me and bro. said, I'm worried about you. That's why. Really? What the fuck? Is that you don't right? think I'm going to die. It's not like I have any no, drugs to do right now. It's not, can you find some? It's not in relation. Anyone. It's anyone here. Relation. Can you find some fucking it's not drugs? In relation. I have no drugs to even do. I just want to stay t true to myself and not try to appease to any of this bullshit ass fucking industry or something. So I don't care if people tell me that I'm like fucked up. If they only do, I'll actually like under control it. For what I've gone through, I'm not fucked up. What's up, Denny? Nothing, man. What's happening? Just out here babysitting, Derek. What are you wearing? Boxers. Socks and undies. <laughs> Boxers. Go interview my dad. Last year was the absolute hardest year of my life. Like, last year tried to kill me. This is of the thing that I'm always, I, I'm, I'm never sure if I'm happier when you guys show up or when you leave. It's nice. You guys are nice. Nice guys. I have tried my hardest my whole life to keep some kind of, holding on to some kind of little tiny relationship with my father. I always had a deal that way. When he dies, I get his bird. That was like our thing. Like, you know, he'd always say like, she's gonna be yours one day. I got a message on my phone. Well, something's come up and if you want Ruby, she's yours. Then he hung up. Literally kicked down the front and front door. He's laying on the floor in a pool of his own fucking blood with his wrists up in the air like this. I'm sitting there, I'm fucking slapping him, trying to just like get him back. And I was just like, yo, 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 man. I was like, What's your favorite Almond Brothers song? What's your favorite Almond Brothers song? He finally opens up his eyes and he's like, Whipping Post. <laughs> if you've ever listened to the lyrics, Whipping Post, like, crazy shit. All right, you want to hear a very personal song? This will lead off what might happen to be in a tattoo. Man. A song about that that no one's ever heard. I was fucked up. I was out of here, man. I was in the shower crying for hours, just like listening to the saddest songs in the world. And it just, I had a moment where I was just like, like, bro, this is exactly what you asked for. Like, you want us to believe that, like, you can be, like, happy and, like, everything can be useful and everything is meant to be and this is your movie, you're 100% responsible 100% of the time. Like, like, show us the way, because we be going through shit too, man. And I was like, you know what? I'm, I'm so fucking happy to be here because that right there, was a fucking challenge for me to say, can this destroy you? And absolutely not, man. And now this has been the greatest year of my life. You know what I'm saying? Immediately after that, has been the greatest moment of my life. And I'm happy to be here. <laughs> oh! <laughs> thank you! Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Love my life, man. I love my life. And I was so grateful that I got to like just live and talk and have another day. And if you don't think I'm gonna celebrate every fucking moment in my life, you're goddamn crazy. Cause this shit is too good to be true, baby. My name is my son, and this is the greatest day of my whole fucking life. <laughs> you know, now I'm like so goddamn in love, but like it, you know, for the first time ever, I felt like like. A little bit of my happiness is in someone else's hands, but it's never been like that. Got a little bit stir crazy, I spend the whole
before I put all of them down, I need to just focus on these ones. <laughs> these are the most important. Wake up, drink water, call mom, answer question, question and answer. That's every day. Then we just had a love Bella, because that's for the rest of my life, no matter what. <laughs> People like to say, um, if you force yourself to smile or you force yourself to happy, that's fake. That's like bullshit. Like it's not fake. It's called practicing, right? If you're not happy and you smile and you go like this, it feels good. And you all know that. And so if someone tries to tell you that's fake, they, they just don't understand what it is to practice. People that aren't around me personally don't really get to experience how funny I am. It's true. So and they should, they should <laughs> show me being funny as hell, like right now. <laughs> Hi, motherfuckers! <laughs> put, put that, put me just saying that stuff you in it to show that care about being funny. We have no fans, okay? There's no boundaries in between us and you, all right? The people making it, the people listening, you help me make it, okay? I love you so much. Thank you. Like, I want to blow the fuck up this year. And I'm going to, because my shit's undeniable right now. There's just something about it, baby. My dude is making me feel happy and loved and alive and go home with just like a feeling of like life is gonna get better. There's not enough people out there like that. Yet. <laughs>